An 82-year-old woman found dead inside the garage of her University Avenue home on Friday. Today, Middleton police releasing the name of the man in custody in connection with that investigation. And thanks for joining us tonight at 6. We are learning new details about the murder of Agnes Bram. Today, Middleton police say they've arrested 53-year-old John Heyman, tentatively charged with first-degree intentional homicide. Those who knew the victim spoke with our Carrie Larson today and shared the large impact she had on the community. Aggie Bram lived in this Middleton home behind me for many years. Today, family members arrived to help police with the emotional task of going through her belongings. This is quite upsetting for our community. The murder of this mother, grandmother, and great-grandmother has been a complete shock. A very traumatic event, as you can imagine. Middleton Police Chief Charles Folk says 53-year-old John Hammond is a suspect in her death. My understanding that he lived there for about six months. I don't think there was any connection other than he rented a room from her. She was found Friday evening in her garage, killed by blunt force trauma to the head. I drove by it on Friday and I saw the action and the crime tape and I knew that that wasn't going to be a a great result. Todd Passini is the general manager at Harbor Athletics Club, where Aggie worked for about three decades. First reaction was just a bit of a shock. We would never have expected that. I mean, here's someone that's not she wasn't hard to get along with and she wasn't like she was going to bother anybody or anything. She was just living her life. Owner of Harbor Athletics, Paul Ernst, says Aggie was one of his first hires. So I think we spent about two weeks on our hands and knees getting uh, gum out of the carpeting. That was her first thing she did with me. <laughs> Always remembering her fun-loving personality and willingness to help. She worked in the nursery up here, or the kids' care. Um, she did other maintenance stuff. She was always very handy and willing to do almost anything that we needed her to do. He says Aggie's years of hard work will never be forgotten. Very tough loss, yes. Hammond will appear in Dane County Court tomorrow, and police say this investigation is still ongoing. Reporting in Middleton, this is Carrie Larson for WISC News 3. The investigation is still ongoing, and police say right now they are still searching for a motive.